Day three, it's time to crush your to-do list. Before we get into today's ultimate confidence tip, I wanna show you my playground. This is our HQ. It's the famous fireplace right there. And then check this out. Give you a quick show around. You see this guy? Has he got confidence or what? And then we have this over here, these monkeys, these guys stick on. How cool is that, right? Jamie, she's here, the monkey. So we have this huge picture here. And so we're always creating in this space. The whole reason why we wanted to get this place was because it's so creative. And with these amazing views, it's our think my thinking chair. Always have a thinking chair. And then we have these views, I'll show you another day. But without any further delay, show real. <laughs> So here we are at day number three of how to build ultimate confidence. You will see by the title, it's time to crush your to-do list. You might be thinking, hold on a second Pete, everybody is saying that I should have a to-do list. And if you're like me, uh, then yes, you do work off some kind of to-do list. But I want you to take a different angle from it because when it comes to having more confidence, sure, I can share all the fluffy stuff with you, but I'd rather give you some real practical steps that you can implement straight away and therefore start feeling better straight away. And when you feel better, you're gonna have more confidence and therefore you're gonna get more shit done in your life as well. So let's take a look at this right here. To-do lists, why are they the biggest pain in the world when it comes to making you feel good? Well, the answer is simple because what you do on a to-do list is you become task orientated. And when we become like a task master and just constantly doing tasks, we actually kind of lose that focus that we have in life. We start to think, hold on a second, is my life meant to be just to be completing a to-do list? Now, yesterday I alluded to this and I said, if you're not hyper goal focused, and I mean really with crystal clarity on what you want, then what you end up doing is becoming uh, to-do list focused, or just as I say, I put here, this is an example, we yeah? have feed the cats. I need to call dad today. I need to email that client. I need to pay the bill, whatever bill it is. Oh, I need to write the about page for my website. And the issue with this is that, sure, it might give you the, um, the illusion that it's doing something for you because you're like, hey, I'm getting my to-do list done. But let me ask you, over the weeks, years um, of, of doing your to-do list, does it ever disappear? Do you ever get to a point where you're like, oh, my to-do list is done now, so everything should be okay? Even if your to-do list was to be complete, then you, you have a coffee, you relax for a few minutes, and then guess what? The, the, the whole new to-do list starts. Even when you complete one of these jobs, it probably opens up a bunch more jobs to do. Bunch more jobs? You get the idea. Now, so with to-do lists, they are prevalent for decreasing confidence. See, what I want you to do is I want you to, um, to play the game big in life. I want you to take big actions in life. You see, when you play the game small, you do to-do lists because you're like, oh, I need to do X, Y, and Z. But when you're making big moves in life, then you need to step up and make sure that you go onto this side. Now, there's a guy called Bedros Koulian, and he always talks about a GSD list. So I recommend this guy highly, yeah? And uh, basically, his words, not mine, get shit done list, right? So this, instead of making these small moves in your life, what you're doing now is you're saying, right, I'm gonna finalize this epic website. Yeah, so now I'm gonna look at outcomes. That's the major difference between a to-do list and a GSD list. For me, it's about outcomes. Yeah, so finalize an epic website. I'm gonna commit to my YouTube channel and show up every day. And then from there, this is just examples, yeah? So I'm gonna pay 2,000 uh, pound off my debt. So now these are the things, and if you complete these things, so for example, the YouTube channel, okay, you will never complete that, but by saying I'm gonna to commit to it now, 
okay? Once you get these things done, and you've got a number of things, no more than five things. I find that my GSD list is like three to five things. Once you've got these three to five things done, it's going to immediately increase your self-esteem, your overall confidence, and just overall how you feel about yourself. Because I, I can almost guarantee you right now in your life that you've got a few things that you've been procrastinating on for a while. Yeah, there's a few things then it's almost like that you need to clean your, um, your home, but you haven't done it. And you keep on doing other things in building your to-do list, but you're not actually getting this stuff done on this side. So this is today's challenge. What I want you to do is I want you to forget your to-do list. And instead, I want you to focus on your GSD list and then commit to making it happen. You'll feel better for it, and then when you feel better, of course, you're gonna have more confidence. I'll see you tomorrow.